and addendum. I know people are going to ask, how do I change PTC common name? Because people often use the common name as a description and they might search on it in Windchill or they'll use it in a bill of materials. So you can actually change the common name from file rename as well. For example, if I go to file and then manage file, rename, I can type in the new name here for the manufacturing model. And then I will click the OK button. This brings up the assembly rename dialog box. Let me make this a whole bunch wider. And so here we have the common name, which has the original name. I can change the value of this as well as change the name of any of the reference components. So for example, here's the mold main volume part and its common name is the same as the file name. Well, I can click in here and change this at the same time, even though I'm not changing the name of the original part. And just let me make this a little bit wider to show to you how I change those different names. And then I click the OK button and I've changed the common names. And if you want to see them, well, you can add that as a column to the model tree. So let me go to my tree columns button and then I will go to model params. And for some reason, PTC common name is not an option that's in here. So I will type it in manually. And then let's add the column and click the OK button. And let me grab this and move it over and resize as well. So there you can see the common names. So you can actually change the common names from this location as well. So there you have it. That's how you change the PTC common name.